Today's theme is three ways to foster creativity in everyday life. Inspired by March comes in like a lion, just like our protagonist Leo, who used creativity to navigate his challenges in shogi and life. We explore how can we harness your creative power to overcome personal hurdles and enrich your daily experiences. Hey there, Zenroku family. Michael Yerby here at MichaelYerby.com reporting the latest news in anime, hip hop, and personal development. As your friendly neighborhood Air Force Master Sergeant, term personal development expert, and anime junkie, I am thrilled to dive in today's episode from the wonderful and illustrious Shreveport, Louisiana, home of the second bomb wing. Last week, we tackled three ways to become a coach-like leader, drawing inspiration from the leadership style in Slam Dunk. If you missed it, make sure to check it out. It was a slam dunk of an episode. Get it? Yeah, you get it, slam dunk. Here's what we'll be covering today. Embracing curiosity and new experiences. Creating a routine that encourages creativity. Finding inspiration in everyday life. So grab your shogi boards and let's move these pieces from the introduction to our main content section. Trust me, you don't want to miss out because like shogi, every move counts. Curiosity is the cornerstone of creativity. Just like Lee's journey in March comes in like a lion, staying curious and open-minded allows us to see possibilities where others see obstacles. When we approach life with a sense of wonder, we discover new interests, ideas, and perspectives that can spark our creativity. Whether it's trying a new hobby, exploring a different genre of anime, or simply asking more questions, keeping our minds open helps us stay in engaged and inspired. Remember how Lee found solace and insight in Shogi? We can find our own Shogi moments by embracing the unknown. Creativity thrives on experimentation and risk-taking. Lee's struggles and triumphs in Shogi teaches us that failure is not the end, but a step towards growth. When we take risks, we allow others to learn and innovate. Whether it's starting a new project, experimenting with different techniques, or simply stepping out of our comfort zones, taking risk helps us grow creatively. And hey, if it doesn't work out, just think of it as a plot twist in your own personal anime, as an unexpected turn that makes the story more interesting. Exposure to diverse perspectives fuels creativity. Just as Lee learned from different characters and March comes in like a lion, we can enhance our creativity by engaging with various viewpoints. This could mean watching anime from different genres, reading books outside of your usual interests, or having conversations with people from different diverse backgrounds. These interactions expand our understanding and inspire new ideas. So next time you're in an anime rut, try something totally different. You might just find your next great idea in the most unexpected place, like discovering that sword art online can be as thrilling as Samurai Shampoo. Who knew, right? This guy did. Remember, curiosity keeps us engaged and inspired. Taking risk leads to growth and innovation. Engaging with diverse perspectives fuels creativity. Creativity needs to flourish. Just as we dedicated time to Shogi, we need to carve out time for our creative pursuits. Whether it's drawing, writing, brainstorming, or any other creative activities, setting aside specific time helps us focus and develop our skills. Creating a routine where creativity is a priority can make a significant difference. And hey, if you need an excuse to watch more anime, just call it creative research. Trust me, it's legit. Just don't tell your boss. Your environment plays a crucial role in fostering creativity. Lee's shogi board is his creative space, and we all need our own version of that. Surrounding yourself with things that inspire you like artwork, music, books, or even anime posters. Like, 
that one right there, it can stimulate you. A stimulating environment can trigger ideas and keep creative juices flowing. So if your room looks like an anime convention exploded, you're on the right track. And if anyone asks, it's called immersive inspiration. So you gotta get on with that. Play and relaxation are vital for creativity. Lee found balance through his interactions and moments of relaxation, which in turn fueled his creative thinking. Incorporating playful activities and downtime into your routine can enhance your creativity, whether it's doodling, playing a game, or simply daydreaming. These moments of play help your mind relax and open up to new ideas. And we all can use a new idea. So go ahead and take that break. You might just have the next big idea while binge watching your favorite anime. Just make sure it's not doing a work meeting unless your boss is cool with that. What did we discuss? Dedicating time specifically for creative activities. Creating an environment that inspires and stimulates creativity. Balance work with play and relaxation to foster creativity. And I do understand that it is very hard to balance work with play and relaxation. That's why it's gonna go up and down, but you have to be your own measure because what it looks like for you might be different for you than someone else. So always measure by your standards, not someone else's. Now that we structured our creative routine, let's dive into finding inspiration in everyday moments. Inspiration is all around us. If we take the time to observe, just like Lee finds inspiration in his surroundings, we can draw ideas from the world we live in. Pay attention to the little details, the colors, the sounds, and interactions that help everyday life. These observations can spark creativity and provide fresh perspectives. Whether it's the way sunlight filters through the trees or the rhymes of the bustling street, inspiration is everywhere. And who knows, maybe your next big idea will come from watching pigeons fight over breadcrumbs. Hey, it's more interesting than it sounds. Trust me. Our personal experiences are a rich source of inspiration. Lee's journey in Shogi is deeply personal and it's his unique experiences that shape his creativity. Reflecting on our lives, our challenges, triumphs, and everyday moments can fuel our creative projects. Your story is unique. Share it through your creative work can resonate deeply with others. Like me, I love personal development. I do enjoy and love anime. Been watching it for over 20 years. And it was very difficult for me to actually put together personal development and anime into a podcast or show that will be, you know, visible for you guys. That had me very, very scared. And I was very optimistic to be quite frank with you. But I'm here, I'm doing it, so you do it. So don't be afraid to draw from your life. It's your personal anime saga waiting to be told. And if you ever tripped in public and pretended it was a part of a dance routine, congratulations, you're already a master of storytelling. Inspiration often comes from connecting with others. Lee's relationship with his friends and mentors greatly influence his creativity. Engage with your community, share ideas, and collaborate on projects. These interactions can provide new insights and inspire creative thinking. Plus, working with others can make the creative process more enjoyable and rewarding. So join that anime club, participate in the creative workshop, or simply chat with your friends about the latest ideas. And if your friends are anime obsessed like you, even better, you'll never run out of things to talk about. Trust me, just won't. And if you're scared to share your ideas with your friends, just remember this, ideas are worthless unless you put some action behind them. So hey, ideas without action are just worthless thoughts. With inspiration drawn from our surroundings, personal experiences, and connections with all, we all set to wrap up today's creative journey. Let's bring it all together, shall we? Observe and draw inspiration from everyday surroundings. Reflect on personal experiences to fuel creative projects and connect with others to gain new insights and inspiration. 
As we conclude this episode, let's recap the creative strategies we explored today. Staying curious, taking risk, and engaging with diverse perspectives are essential for fostering creativity. By embracing curiosity and new experiences, we keep our minds open and inspired. And two, creating a routine that includes dedicating time for creative activities, a stimulating environment, and moments of play and relaxation can significantly boost our creativity. And last but not least, finding inspiration in everyday life, drawing from personal experiences and connecting with others can fuel our creative projects and provide fresh perspectives. So how can you start fostering creativity in your everyday life? Here's a challenge to get you started, because like a good cliffhanger, you want to stick around for what happens next. This week, reflect on a recent change in your life. How did you respond and what steps can you take to embrace this change more creatively next time? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Let's learn from each other on our journeys. What new techniques or jitsus have you discovered in your recent creative endeavors? How did they help you overcome challenges? Let's discuss in the comments. Your insights might just inspire someone else. I know I get inspired. If you got an anime that you believe captures the essence of the upcoming topic even better, don't hesitate to click the link in the description and make your voice your voice. Yes, your voice heard. Join the waitlist for the Peak Society group at michaelyerby.com backslash the Peak Society and let's build a community where you can dive deep into discussions about growth, challenges, and of course, my personal favorite, anime. Remember, my premium online courses are absolutely free on michaelyerby.com. Just click the course link below to tune into your development. Your development. Yes, your are you hearing me? Your development at no cost. All I ask is that you buy some merch to support the channel or share the merch to support the channel. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. Thanks for tuning in, Zinyoku family. Until next time, stay creative, stay curious, stay inspired, and pay it forward. Peace.